and welcome to York Art Gallery. My name's Sarah Burnage and I work here as a research curator. This summer we'll see the opening of an exciting new exhibition looking at the life and art of William Etty. Born in York in 1787, William Etty was one of the most prolific and successful artists working in the first half of the 19th century. He produced a wide variety of works, from large-scale historical canvases through to delicate cabinet pieces and even evocative portraits. William Etty was celebrated for his skills as a colourist and considered to be a stalwart of the Royal Academy. However, today he's perhaps most famous, or rather infamous, for his repeated use of the female nude in his art. Indeed, his repeated use of the nude, in particular the female nude, sharply divided public opinion. Despite Etty's significant status in the 19th century, today he's largely forgotten. Indeed, many residents and visitors to York regularly walk past his statue without ever really realising who he is. Yet despite this obscurity, York Art Gallery can boast one of the largest and most impressive collections of works by Etty in any UK collection. There are over 70 oil paintings by the artist in the collection, as well as a wealth of sketchbooks and drawings. Here at York Art Gallery, we really want to celebrate York's most famous artist son. Our forthcoming exhibition, entitled William Etty, Art and Controversy, hopes to resurrect his battered and beleaguered reputation. The exhibition will consider four main areas of the artist's work. The first, his large-scale historical canvases. The second, his devotion to the old masters. The third, his passion and enthusiasm for the life class. And the fourth, his skill as a portrait painter. To really get to grips with Etty's controversial status, we've brought together some amazing works from all over the UK. So what was it about Etty's art that made him so controversial? When he exhibited his large-scale historical canvases at the Royal Academy, critics were appalled by his use of the female nude. They thought he had a lascivious mind, and more than that, they thought his paintings were a cynical attempt to corrupt the public. A typical example of the type of controversy and criticism Etty's art endured can be found in the reactions the artist's 1830 depiction of Candorli's received when first exhibited. When placed on display at the Royal Academy, the painting was subjected to a tirade of abuse. The subject matter was described as utterly retrobate, full of debasing sensuality. One critic suggested that Etty should be strongly reprehended for such an explicit display of female fleshiness, whilst another found the artist guilty of gratuitous indelicacy. The painting depicts an episode taken from the histories of the Greek historian Herodotus. It recounts the story of the king of Lydia, Candorles, who, thinking his wife Nicissa to be the most beautiful woman in the world, arranged for his general, Gyges, to see her undress. Etty depicts the dramatic moment when Nicissa unwittingly exposes herself to Gyges. Gyges, the general, is seen on tiptoes creeping round the corner of the room to catch in an illicit glimpse of the Queen's body, whilst Candorles lies recumbent on the couple's marital bed. With its narrative of deceit, exploitation and voyeurism, as well as a centrally placed naked female form, shown in the middle of performing a striptease, there was something explicitly provocative about Etty's painting, and one which contemporary audiences simply could not accept. The outrage and scandal Etty's painting of Candorli's received was typical of the type of over-the-top reaction his art tended to arouse when exhibited in public. Etty was repeatedly described as outrageous and criticised for exhibiting too much voluptuousness. It was claimed that decent families could not hang his art on their walls, and that the artist's repeated and sustained interest in the female nude was a result of a perverted mind. Contemporaries, in particular, objected to the lifelike quality of Etty's news, which they felt recalled debased earthly sensuality, rather than the pure, idealised type recommended for high art. To prepare for the exhibition, we've been making sure that William Etty's works are in tip-top condition. Venus and her satellites here has recently been conserved and the colours have really been brought to life by the conservation work. To help bring Etty's controversial status to life, I've also been looking at newspaper reviews from the early 19th century. These give us a fascinating insight into why Etty's art was considered to be so controversial and we'll be using some of these newspaper reviews in the exhibition. 
The William Etty Art and Controversy Exhibition will be one of the biggest celebrations of the artist's work in over 150 years. We'd love you to come along this summer and see the artist's paintings and make up your own mind about his controversial status. We've got lots of exciting events planned to coincide with the exhibition, so pick up a leaflet in the art gallery or visit our website. So come along, be shocked, scandalised or titillated by what you see. But most of all, we hope that you'll really enjoy learning more about this important and significant artist.